What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another one. If you haven't watched the last video, it's a must. Killed my biggest archery bull to date, and uh, it was crazy. Just an absolute crazy video. So y'all go check that out. But we are leaving from that elk hunt right now to head to another part of Colorado. I have a bear tag, and my good buddy Kevin and Chris, Kevin drew a sheep tag. So uh, I got a bear tag for the same unit that he has a sheep tag, and they're not coming up for another day or two. Uh, so we're going to do some sheep scouting and look for bears on the way. Hopefully we can find a big big old black bear to put down and uh, have sheep spotted by the time they come. So y'all stay tuned. Enjoy this video. I don't know what's to come, but we're going to go into some beautiful country. Super high elevation, up to 13,000 feet. Uh, it's going to be wild. So see what we can get into and have a good time. So we made it to uh, first glassing spot of the day. You can see how beautiful it is out here. Up above tree line, we're at tree line right now, but pan out that way, show them what it looks like. It's pretty insane. So bears and sheep on the agenda. We'll see what we come up with. We don't have a lot of time this evening. We're gonna go set up camp uh, before it gets dark and we'll be out here early. Baby, I got sheep right here. I got three ewes, but there could be a ram somewhere close. So, I'll go grab the spotter real quick and uh, show y'all what we're seeing. So, it looks like there's Two ewes and a baby, but there's got to be a ram around here somewhere. Hopefully, hopefully we can turn them up because this is a really, compared to where they could be right now, this is a really good spot to, to get one. So, guys it's dinner time i got beef stroganoff mountain house and hunter's got chicken and dumplings so get this bag here open and uh got some canned uh oysters as well for a little appetizer a rating on this meal. One out of ten here in a second. Once I get these cooked up, I'll show you what they look like. Woo! Emerson dumplings, boy. For real. So, it takes 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That fire is hot to get our uh, water boiling and then we'll throw it in and uh, let it sit for about 15 minutes. So we got oysters and Louisiana hot sauce sardines. This is Hunter's first time trying either and he actually loved them. So there you go, smoked oysters. They're delicious. I like the uh, sardines better, but the oysters are just as good. Our crackers are stale, but delicious. 
Mountain House Beef Stroganoff with Noodles and Savory Cream Sauce with Mushrooms and Onions. Please drag. So, she's done cooking. Mixed her up real nice. I wish I had some hot sauce, but. One out of 10, Beef Strogi. That's done. For uh, the setting, I'll give it a nine. Nine flat. Pretty good. So, hopefully, tomorrow we're having bear over the fire or sheep. We'll see what happens. But we're going to eat our dinner and uh, get in the tents and uh, see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Got to get out of here. We're back in here a ways, and it's actually not in our unit. So, we gotta wake up early to get to where we're going. So I'll see you guys in the morning. see him unfortunately he's not on the side that Kevin's tag is good for but he's not far off so you could definitely make a move where are you at Check him out. Uh -huh. <sighs> Gotta go get gas. See where everybody else is. They're on their way here in a little bit. So go get gas and see if we can find some service because we haven't had service in a day, a full day. Into town, got a little bit of service. Uh, called Christopher, told him the plan. We are heading deep into the unit that my bear tag is good for. So, found that big sheep this morning. Um, found a couple more ewes that were on his side, Kevin's side, where his tag's good for. But we're headed over to where my tag is good for the bear. It's raining right now, uh, but maybe it'll keep the bears up. In eating and we're gonna go check out a bunch of avalanche shoots see if we can see them and uh we gotta go uh get camp set up so that chris and them they have the onyx pin sent them the onyx pin to where we're camping there's no service up here so offline maps on onyx is a key uh i downloaded all my offline maps before we got here so i was able to send him a pin uh where we're camping when we had service so they're gonna meet us uh Later this afternoon, we're gonna go bear hunt. I told him we'd see them around dark. So uh, hopefully we can go put some uh, bears in the glass and I'll let you know when we do find one and then hopefully we can put a move on it. So y'all stay tuned. <laughs>
Well, that couldn't happen any faster. Uh, we were just checking all these avalanche shoots and literally saw them from the trail. Got out, put them in the glass, hiked up about 150 yards. And I got a shot. The first shot was super high. I dialed for 400. He was at 380, but he came in probably 70 yards as we were getting set up. So I don't know what happened, but aimed low on the second shot. Looks like it hit him. So we're going to hike up here and see what happened. See if we can find any blood. Hopefully he's down. But big old pretty chocolate bear. Looks like a boar. Um, so I'm going to get up here and see what happens. That's a good block. I don't think he went far, guys. Let's see. It's altitude up here. It's just tough. You recover fast, but it's just so high. You don't get a breath. Let's see if we can't find this bear. That good blood looks like dark. Maybe heart. Oh, yeah. Guys, we're up here. He's, he's gone really high and that doesn't make me feel good that he climbed so much, but he's finally going back down. This cliff's out. Let's see where his tracks go. I'm really gone. 
auf diesem Berg her. Chris, Dan, they all showed up last night, late last night, so we're getting a late start this morning, making some coffee, but uh, got a game plan for today, saw two big bears yesterday, saw a bunch of mule deer, saw some elk, and uh, saw one big horn sheep, so today the goal is to find Kevin, <laughs> today the goal is to find Kevin a big sheep. And uh, hopefully find another bear or two, because Chris has a bear tag as well. So um, takes three guys to figure out how to run a jet boil to make some coffee. So we got in kind of late last night. That's the whole purpose of coffee. After this, things will straighten out. Oh, I brought some instant coffee too. Uh, we have Italian dark, and then we have medium Colombia. I couldn't find the cream. We only had whole milk. Oh, I need cream. So we'll be suffering a little bit this morning. <laughs> Everyone has to drink some milk. Yeah, we got a half gallon. There you go, guys. So we're going to get out there in our, here in a second. Uh, not the typical hunting hours you normally do, but uh, we'll get out there and start glassing here in a little bit, see what we can find. He's out of there. Yeah, what is he doing? It's a big bear. Mm -hmm. Well guys, we've had uh, quite the adventure. I haven't kept you updated on everything, but um, shot that bear first day here and we tracked it for five hours. Tracked blood for five hours, replayed the footage a hundred times, hit him right in the right side of the chest and went out his, uh, his butt. And bears are tough, man. He took a 300 PRC right through the chest and, uh, tracked him for five hours and lost him. It got dark on us, and that was that. So we're out looking for bears. Saw a bunch of bears yesterday evening. Uh, just couldn't get on one to make it happen. So this may be our last day. I don't know. They didn't see any sheep yesterday. Um, we're just running up this road and glassing these uh, avalanche shoots. Hopefully, we hoping we turn up a bear. So. Y'all stay tuned, see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen today, but uh, we're gonna give it our best.
spotted up a ram, a sheep. Uh, unfortunately, it's in the wrong unit, not Kevin's unit, so. Uh, no bears yet. No bears. Got a bear about two miles away. Uh, problem is, he's probably gonna be gone by the time we can hike to where we can shoot from. So the search continues for another bear. He's a big boy now. Back to Tejas we go with a big old bull on top. What's up, everybody? Kevin's sheep hunt. Uh, Mike had to take off yesterday, head back to Texas with uh, with a serious trophy. If you'll probably get a quick glimpse of that here pretty soon. If, if if not, if you've already posted that video, man, you gotta go check it out. You gotta you gotta stud up here. But anyway, we're up here at the top of the world, looking for a big horn for uh, for my brother Kevin. Auctions is a light up here, but man, it's just absolutely beautiful. Oh. We're just trying to get around this corner here and find some good glassing spots. Hopefully, turn up some sheep. Well, we got up to one of our glassing points. Uh, just below 13,000. These big guys you see off in the distance, those are 14. Pretty serious mountains. What do you think? Gonna find a sheep up here? Yeah, I think we should. I don't really want to go up that much more. This way would be great. Let's see if the fish right over here. That's good. I also got this nice little pocket down here to glass. So. Alright, just time to tail off the high point. There's a lot of glass here, but we got some storms rolling in. Decided we didn't want to be above timberline. When it gets here, we've already had a little bit of rain, but looks like it's building up more this afternoon. We're heading down to the truck and regroup and decide on the next hunt. So, it's a lot of cool country. The only thing is the, there was an outfitter in the draw yesterday that took out a sheep. He said that he'd only seen two sheep all week. So we're going to try to figure out where these, these bands that were in here a couple weeks ago, where they all went. So let's figure that out and we'll go find them. All right, we're up here once again around, I think we're at 12.5 right now, but we're around some of the tallest bill, tallest mountains in Colorado. Yeah, we just went for a huge hike, but uh, literally we set our packs down. Kevin went over to sit and wait for Brett to come up so he could see where we we're at, and he spotted two sheep, so we just pulled out the, uh, the spot. There's, we're gonna go see if we can get a better look at them. I don't, I don't think they're, Rams, if they are, they're young, but hopefully we can find something else around them. Well, unfortunately, we got a we got big glass in our way. A new pair of the 15s. Love them. But you can see, Manny's head there, just sticking up above the rock in the center bottom of the screen. Can't see it's baby anymore. I keep glassing. Well, we came out this morning and we'd seen one ram peek out at the skyline. We came back around to another viewing spot and we located them. We've got six rams. Most of them look around half curl. There's two that look like they could be five eighths plus. We're just trying to get a better look at them and we'll watch, see what they do. Decide if we want to plan a hunt on them or not.
Yeah, he's got a big body. So both groups met up. There's definitely a couple rams in here we're interested in. And then they just took off running and they're running downhill, which is nice. But it's pretty funny to watch them interact. Just kind of ran up to each other and were like hugging each other. <laughs> it was pretty funny. And then they just took off running. Well, we went over to our other spotting uh, spot and um, spotting location and uh, couldn't relocate them. So we came back over here where Rudy saw them. Still couldn't relocate them. So we're trying to come up with a plan if we're going to try to hike blind up there and, and see if we can find them in this basin or not. Problem is the last kind of angle they were heading, if they were heading back uphill, they could end up in a whole nother drainage from here. So we're gonna sit down and figure it out. Uh, either way, hopefully we can catch back up with them. Lightning and a lot of rain. So we are just in the uh, trailer deluxe. Trailer deluxe. Eat some chips and salsa. Uh, we're going to be a lot more aggressive tomorrow. If we see those sheep, we're just going to make a move on it and hope for the best. No. Well, it's still raining. We were able to get out and scout a little bit tonight. And uh, this rolled in pretty heavy. It's only about half an hour. So. Back in the trailer, I'm gonna fire up. Got some leftover uh, ribeye, leftover pork chop, make some tacos. Yeah, it's nice and cozy in here, so get some dry. Days of having thunderstorms and snow and rain. We decided to make a move on those sheep that we'd seen before the storm came in. Right now we're working our way up a huge avalanche chute. Went from about a 45 degree up to about a 50. So we're just taking our time. We're about an hour behind because the first part of the trail disappeared in the creek bottom and we had to bushwhack it for about, I don't know, three quarters of a mile to a mile. All right, we've been up here for about half an hour. And old Kevin just spotted, looks like eight rams. They're over there on the far side. And they're on the move, so we gotta sit here and watch and see. Hopefully, they uh, bed down somewhere up in there. They're in a good spot to access, but kind of that general direction they're heading. If they decide to go up over that mountain, they're in a whole other basin. So hopefully, they're gonna bed down over there, and then uh, they're kind of they're in a pretty good spot. It's gonna be a serious trek across this place, but they're in a spot that we can make a move. So. We just got down the mountain in about, what did you say? 50 a, a 50th of what it took to get to the top of it. Got a nice game trail. Okay, I was looking to see if we can see them from where we're at. Yeah. What's that? That's negative. Negative? Let me flip it around here. So they're right up there, just over those mounds. feet of elevation gain and what we're hoping is that they're basically just hanging out in that base and obviously we're losing sight of them for probably what's going to be an hour and uh, the wind is definitely different down here
he's walking. It's hit hard. Did I get him good? Tough shot without the wind. I, he ain't gonna climb. He's not using his back leg. way across this talus back into this drainage that we saw him. We've seen 10 rams come out. None of them were him. Alright, we just cut the blood trail. Like I said, we've seen 10 rams leave. And we've seen the other two bigger ones out of there. And then we just came across this. See that? That's a horn right there. <laughs> oh, beautiful chocolate coat. In there to hold him up. All right. That's a big smile right there. That is awesome. Yeah. I'm putting them right around seven eighths. Just a beautiful ram, beautiful colors in them. Good mass. Tank. Yes. <laughs> Very awesome. Good mass right there. Most exciting, most challenging hunt I've ever been on. Without a doubt. Uh, so I'll show you guys, we started way over on that ridge, glassing. Had to come around, come down through here. Up over the top, and uh, his first shot wasn't quite what he wanted, but we stuck on the blood trail and bumped him a couple times, and then uh, had a 420 yard shot with his uh, 6.5 PRC. I think this probably would have been about our last chance before he went off the edge or, or climbed up and up and over into the other basin. Trail right there, I think that's where he's so. Going. We're going to get some pictures and break this guy down. All right, we're back in the kitchen. Uh, what is it? Three days after the hunt? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, Thursday. Still recovering, I ain't going to lie. Getting out of bed <laughs> a little stiff in the morning. But uh, we decided that we're going to cook up some tenderloin for you here in a second. But we've got a... Uh, we, we took one of the tenderloins, sliced it up into two. I've got Mullet Man, Critter Glitter, all critter on one and his uh, steak on the other. So we're gonna just throw these in the, the cast iron and um, you know my way of always testing good meat, new meat to us, this is the first time we've ever tried sheep, is just a simple recipe. I like to do it in a cast iron where uh, you just taste the flavor of the meat. I mean with all the other stuff you can always do tacos and all of that. When you're eating tenderloins just season them, put them in a cast iron, roll them so you get a nice crust on them and that's it. So we're going to do that and we'll uh, get back to you here in a second and see how it tastes. Okay we got our whole crew with us. Uh, we just got the steaks off, the tenderloin. Scotty you want to show us uh, what, what seasoning do you have over there? Steak. Alright and uh, Evelyn what do you have over on your side? Critter glitter. Mm. Yeah, it's the all critter. All right, Kevin, cut into them and see what we got. First, I want to introduce our cameraman. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, apparently, I didn't teach him how to use pan before we asked him to do this for us. So, thanks, Tristan. 
Tristan, right. Tristan zoomed in on my belly for a while there, so <laughs> I apologize to all of you. <laughs> one at a time. Mmm, yummy. This is good. I'm going to try this one. You guys? Hey, break it up. Test each one. Which one's your favorite? And then you gotta give it a score. 10 out of 10. All right, I got a 10 out of 10 on Scotty. This one, steak. Let's say something on that. I think I'd give this one an eight and this one a 10, because this one I had a lot more flavor, really. Right. But how's the meat? This is the first time you guys have ever tried bighorn sheep. Oh yeah, the meat's good too. The meat? Yeah, that's, good. <laughs> that's impressive. Mm. The tenor, what do you guys, do you guys compare it to elk? Eight out of ten. It's a little tougher than elk, but it's eight out of ten. This is a problem. This is an eight out of ten. I like this one more than that. I think it's delicious. No, I was gonna I say, let's ask, let's ask the hunter. What do you think, Kev? I think it's pretty good. It's pretty I think good. it's awesome. Does it melt in your mouth? I think this it's is really an eight out of ten because it's a bit spicy in my throat. This one. Hold on, I didn't even get to try that one. You guys ate it all. I'm gonna get in here. This one's an eight. This one's a nine. Look at that stuff in your mouth. This one's an eight. That one's open probably up. a eight point five. Dad, open up. You can try it still. Oh yeah. Nine. Oh, that meat's delicious. Oh, also. Ten. Fine. Hope you guys enjoy another video by Mullet Man Productions. We're gonna boost him up here. He's his own production company. But hopefully we see you guys again this season. We've got a few more hunts between the two of us. Uh, Mike's gonna come out and hunt again in November. November. And uh, hopefully we see you guys again.